Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A big to all of my fellow students and especially for my lecturer. Um, this is our movie analysis and the movie we have chosen is uh, The Dead Poet Society, which is a story of how a group of students found their new teacher's um, secret hobbies of uh, reading poems outside of the school grounds. Um, with the help of that teacher and because of their ability to understand the teacher's hobby uh, and love for poems, the, the students were able to find their own passion in life and begin to lead life on their own. Without further ado, we will go on to our presentation. And I'm here. My name is Nur Amelia Binti Lutfi and these are my uh, me- fellow members, uh, Nur Shahira Akma and Nur Shazan Nasri. Uh, Muhammad Rizal bin Muhammad Nati and Josephine Marian Anak Sobek. Without further ado, let's go uh, for the next presenter. Okay, I will go first. Uh, so for the introduction, this Dead Poet Society uh, film is all about John Keating. A new replacement for English teacher is an honor graduate of Welton Academy who inspire his students through his teaching poetry. He is against the traditional conservative teaching methodology of the academy and introduces new progressive teaching methodology. He wants his students to give up conformist way of blindly following his heart. Um, and next is uh, Neil Perry, a hardworking, honest student who dreamt of becoming an actor. Although his father insists that he should go to Harvard to study medicine. Next is Todd Anderson is so shy that he is frozen with fear when required to speak in front of the other students but overcame it as his teacher encourages him. And the next is uh, Charlie Dalton has the makings of a true rebel and poet. And the last one is Poetry and passion, comedy and tra- tragedy are fused into one absolutely marvelous affirmation of independent spirit in this dead poet society. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Characteristic of the teacher. Okay, from the movie that poet society, we we see that they are students who get bored easily when given a task by the teacher and then this is result in learning environment that is not conductive uh, and then there are several things we can learn from the way Mr. Keating teach okay from the Mr. Keating teach for the number one is not standing in one position which mean um as usually the teacher always sits in the same position that is in front of the class and then the teacher sit behind the desk or stand in the front of the blackboard and usually ask the student to open the textbook and then the material discuss together. But when Mr. Keating um be the uh, be at the classroom. Uh, Mr. Keating um using a mobile teaching, which means um the teacher can discuss the lesson in class distance with the student. And then, for the example from that movie that I uh already watched, um, Mr. Keating did when teaching in the class and approach taught to read his own poetry and then this is speak uh this is can help teacher to be more relaxed uh where students feel they are learning not a bit too direct by walking around the teacher will also know that uh his student what what his student will doing uh, and then they will feel the teacher involvement is emotionally so from this case um that means uh, Mr. Keating is not a really a standing in one position. It doesn't mean that Mr. Keating just only give the task and then the student just answer the question. No, but Miss, uh, but Mr. Keating uh, have uh, another idea which means uh, using a uh, mobile teaching something like that to discuss with the to discuss a lesson a lesson with the student. Okay, for the number two is a good healthy relationship with the student in the outside of the classroom. All right. So for the example, um, Mr. Keating takes his student for a walk in the park before starting in the lesson. 
this is a beginning of the lesson uh, of the lesson where uh, the student must do doing some warm up to make them more comfortable and not really a break when attend the class. So for the number three is uh, pay attention to all children. Okay. Um, usually teacher at the school always pay attention to the smartest student, but through the film, then I'll just do it together, uh, which is uh, the, uh, not really a pay, uh, uh, like uh, Mr. Keating. Um, he is not really um, focused on the smart, smartest student, but he do it for the all of student. No matter what that student is smart or not, but he teach uh, them like a fair. All right, for the number four is uh, find the talent of the student. So full attention also can make Obtain when sharing opinion, discussion, or debates. Not all students can express their idea or opinion. So, from the uh, from the Mr. Keating, um, Mr. Keating who knows about the ability of his student. So, in additions, um, Mr. Keating always help them them student by giving the subject matter and then teach them to be open and teach them to be a uh, um, share about their opinions and anything else about uh, about themselves that which mean the Mr. Keating listen up about uh, their students sharing or opinions discussion or debates or anything which mean Mr. Keating really really um, can it can be here to their idea or opinions. And then for the number five is uh, using technology tools, uh, which is uh, actually using te uh, using technology tools can create an um, active atmosphere in the classroom. For example, um, uh, we can use the available technology like laptop, internet, or projector with uh, an interesting and fructive presentation. We can take over the child, the, the student, to give a more attention. So here are something that we can learn from these films that points to about John Keating's teacher, uh, teaching method, with him, which, which means uh, by giving a freedom, of top of two students, it is good if the student is a cup a point so that there is no case like a nil uh, who are misunderstanding what is written in the book. So from this, um, using technology tool is very helpful, especially for students and teacher also. Just like example, like I said, Mr. Keating is actually, I think he is uh, up to date which means uh, he always uh, try the best to make a student pay attention in the class. So, yeah, for me, using a technology tool is very uh, For this disciplinary uh, problem in this movie is related to main character, which is uh, three person, uh, Neil, Todd, and Charlie Dalton. Okay, we go through first uh, with a uh, parenting problem. In this problem, uh, we focus on the Neil Perry parent, which is they did not support him and his patient. Uh, in this movie, he want to be a superstar, uh, which is actress, but his parent want him to be a doctor. So, uh, his parent, if you, by dominating Neil's life, Neil parents are overbearing about what Neil need to do and who he needs to be called. So, uh, Neil don't have his courages for he to become what he want. That's why he become a troublemaker person. Okay, next is uh, how other people view about them. Okay, basically, uh, this problem is about thought. Thought always think his parents favor his brother because they are always comparing with each other. Uh, as we know, his brother already a graduate person. He have a genius thinking. He was not like Thought. Um, 
That's why Todd think his parents love his brother more than him. And they are always comparing him. And uh, Todd always remember uh, her, his parents' uh, sentence, which is they always they keep saying that uh, they have big shoes to fill, which is uh, Todd think he is a uh, trouble in his family. Uh, so that thing give a big impact to mental health as a son and student. That's why thought us to become troublemaker at first at uh, his class. Okay, next is co curriculum issues. Co curriculum issues is related to teacher did not really consider about social is important for student evolution. In this movie, this the student always uh asking to. Study, study, and keep study. That's why they think they need something that make his, uh, he have, they have their own time, which is they have to social. Even, uh, they have to study, they have to balancing with their social life also. Which is, uh, they have to go something, uh, somewhere they have to make something that they like, they like, uh, correct. The curriculum was not just made to put learners in enclosed door or traditional learning. The curriculum must adjust to the necessities of people and community to stay effective and efficient in academic. Okay, uh, for the first is academic pressure. As we know, academic pressure can cause unnecessary stress among students. In the current society, people live in parents, one of the major contributors of the academic pressure. For example, uh, Neil's parents always uh, want, want Neil to be better in his study. Without, they don't ask uh, what Neil's need, what really Neil's need. For this situation, it relates to family which is near life was badly damaged by his parents for they always keep a high expectation to need to keep her to keep his study. Okay, uh last social problem. Basically, as we know, social problems that always teenagers involved with cigarettes, uh alcohol. Um, okay, uh this uh problem relate to Charlie Dalton who have everything and the most richest among them. Because of the title, he thinks he can do anything he wants. Charlie tests the limit of his sobriety by drinking, dancing, cutting women, and rebelling against the stuffy. So that's all from me. Next. Okay, next. After we all talk, uh, we all talk about the uh, story, the introduction of the movie, so what it's about, and the problems that arise, we have to tie it out with our own uh, personal opinions and personal problems. How are we going to uh, how are we going to solve it, and what did we learn in our class in order to uh, be a good teacher? And in order, in order to take the teacher in the movie as a, an example. Here we have the teaching methods that were used by Mr. John Keating, which is practical methods. This can, this can be seen even in the first of his class, where he, without um, hesitation, starts ripping out the textbooks and have the students walk on their own ways in the courtyard. Um, this, this is... Because the textbook contains a lot of uh, mechanical, technical terminology, but he taught uh, poetry, which is something that comes from emotion, views, and perspectives. Um, so Mr. Keating have uh, the students to rip out their textbook, and there's also a symbolism where he asks the student to walk in the courtyard, which is uh, to show that how important it is for the students to follow their own ways instead of mindlessly following orders. And we can see the difference here because the students are having fun walking in the courtyard and having something different to do during the learning session because every other teacher in the academy is a strict teacher. He also teaches the students to seize the day. Uh, for example, like they taught, uh, taught, uh, his father wanted him to be something else, and that doesn't make him happy. Uh, he wanted to be something other than what he was told to be. 
So he, uh, the teacher told the students to seize the day, live the day as of now, and to find happiness in their own ways rather than finding money or finding social status or power. Uh, Mr. John Keating taught the student to live in the now. He demonstrated how fun and beautiful life can be if you follow your dreams and have fun once in a while. Uh, we can see uh, one of the students, Charlie Dalton, I think, uh, wants to be an actor. And he began to find happiness once he, once he doubled in the acting business, once he uh, tried to become an actor and let go of the expectation placed upon him. Do I agree with his uh, teaching methods? I partially agree with his teaching method because it is something that uh, shows more than just reading a book. That is what a teacher is supposed to do. You don't just spot nonsense from the books, but you also give your students confidence, ideas, the ability to think more than what they are told. Uh, that gives uh, more quality for a person rather than just mindlessly spouting out facts and data. Uh, what would I do if I was in his shoes? Uh, first of all, most of the students' problems comes from their external uh, emotion, external overviews and their parents if, if I was a teacher there's not much I can do uh, regarding the parents uh, how their parents think their parents uh, perspectives but I would let the students know that there is more to life than just learning and studying that there is more to life than just following orders and getting money and power and that happiness even if you're uh, rich without happiness there is nothing to live for because one of the students even committed suicide once his acting uh, career was taken away by his father. And then I will pass on to my next uh, present. My name is Muhammad Rizwan bin Muhammad Nasir. I will be the next presenter. For my part is a conclusion. The first point is a that White Society is a movie that inspires many to pursue their dream and life, life to the fullest. Number two, the message is sent out to the viewer is for them to take the risk in order to achieve their goal. Number three, it's a reminder how life is short and that we should make the most of it. Number four, teaching is more than just parting knowledge but also to inspire students. Number five, it also shows the importance of connecting with the student. And the lastly, is a, a great teacher inspire the student to think outside of the book and and take and take risk in their life. And for my for my opinion for the this for the conclusion, I think this movie show can show teacher how to show the value of the mentorship and and make student to success. By engaging, by engaging with students on the personal level. I think that's all from me. Okay, here's I want to add my personal opinion about this Dead Poet Society. Uh, this movie has a very uplifting messages, especially for teens about seizing the day and embracing poetry. And it inspired us to be an individual in a world of conformity. And to me, it is okay to be different as long as our individuality is necessary for individual growth and the growth of the society we live in. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, that is all from us. Thank you so much for lending us your ears. And thank you for uh, your patience with our... A presentation. That is all. Thank you so much.